Hey guys, today's video is going to be a review slash haul slash guide on how to shop at Inglot because it's really difficult to navigate their website. Not that it's a bad website, but there are so many options like AMC eyeliner, different types of stuff. So I'll let you know the stuff that I've bought so that way if you want it, you can go get it um, and just kind of help you guide your way through the Inglot buying process. So their eyeshadows, the ones, I think they're called the Freedom eyeshadows, they are, you can put them in palettes. So this is the palette that I bought, which is, it's really cool, it's unique, it's magnetic, it like slides out every way you can imagine. Really, really cool, it's like sleek, sexy, love it. And you can, it's called the Freedom System and they give you like a little magnetic tray and you just kind of start plopping on all the eyeshadows that you want, which is really smart on their part. But they come like this, so yeah, it's called the Freedom System. Their eyeshadows are really, really good. I would definitely recommend their eyeshadows. And I'm pretty sure you can only buy them like this. Not with the palette. So I bought the palette with it because I didn't know what I was doing and I just wanted stuff. One day I will wear this green color. It will happen, just not today. Um, this gold one, like these are all really, sorry the light is so bright right now, it's kind of hard to see. but. All these colors are really pretty, they're really pigmented, but they're really, really nice. And what I like about these eyeshadows is that they're creamy. Overall recommendation for the Inglot Eyeshadows Freedom System, the one that comes in uh, refills, yes, absolutely get it. So their eyeshadows are only $7, which is like a really, really good deal because it has a, it's like a big eyeshadow. And I buy the Inglot, not Inglot, the Urban Decay eyeshadows, which are $18 a piece. Like, I have no problem doing it because I love the formula so much. The Inglot ones are only $7, and they're like four times the size as the Urban Decay eyeshadows. So absolutely, go buy them. They're awesome. Okay, so the next type of eyeshadow I'm going to talk about from Inglot is called the AMC Pure Pigment Eyeshadow. So I have a couple of them. I have these two colors. This is like a pretty turquoise, and this is like a really bronzy, uh, coppery color. This one's called Body Pigment, actually, so I guess this is not an eyeshadow. This is one thing that's kind of confusing about Inglot, is that, like, everything has a different name, but I would never know if I don't look at it. But this, okay, so this literally says AMC Pure Pigment, but there are, so you can see as I'm looking down here, AMC Pure Pigment eyeshadows, you can see how many shades there are. So when you go in, you just see, like, all these really, really pretty colors, and you're just like, ah! and then you don't know what to do, and then you leave with turquoise. One thing that threw me off about Inglot eyeshadows is that I have these, I guess they're called eyeshadows on the bottom, but I would call them like a uh, crushed metal because they're like like flakes, which I don't want to dump it out all over my carpet, but you can see how pretty it is right here. It's like a, um, kind of like a pigment, but it's literally like flakes. So with those, you're definitely going to want the Durline. I don't know if you watched my winged eyeliner tutorial. This stuff right here to put it on or else it'll probably get all over your face. But I love these. They're kind of difficult to use. So if you're a beginner or you're like, I don't want to do that many steps, I would suggest just getting the regular eyeshadows, maybe like a shimmer or a pearl. If you watched my wing liner tutorial, the Inglot Duraline. So I just checked online. This stuff is only $9. I love this stuff. Like I said before, I put some in my eyeliner, my liquid liner my gel liner. This like wakes it up. Like a drop of this, it's kind of like a, a goo. Not a goo, it's a liquid. But if you put like a drop of that in there, it totally like brings it back to life. Or you could put it in your pigments and do like the foiled look on your lid, which I absolutely love. Um, so this stuff lasts forever. It's a dropper. So it has a little button on top right here. And you just drop a drop in there. And you're good to go. Okay, my next, my absolute favorite thing from Inga, this makes me so happy, um, is called their Body Sparkles. So these guys right here are called Body Sparkles, and they are $15, so it's a little bit pricier based on their size, but I have two different colors. I'll show you my favorite one. This one right here, this is like the Disco Glitter from Inga that has like the blue and purple reflects in it. I love doing like a cut crease, like a super sharp cut crease with like this glitter on my lid. So I have this one, and then I also have, which is number 59, and then I also have number 
66 or 99, I think it's 66. This one is like a little bit, it's not silver, but it's not gold, so that's why I love it. It's like in between. Super pretty, love their glitters, dye, need it, done. So I have, I do have a few different Inglot blushes. I love them all. I'm super picky when it comes to putting blush on because I don't like stuff that makes me look like orange or weird. I'm really picky, but I have um, two of these, so these were $12 each. I have a pinkier shade and a, I don't know, not orangier, bronze. I'm wearing this one right now because I did like a bronze look today. This is shade number 21. This pinkier one is shade number 20. And I have a Freedom System one that I haven't even opened yet. This is number 46. This is a little bit like more corally than I would typically wear. In this Z palette, I have my blushes that I wear every day. And this blush right here is shade number 28, I think. Yeah, so shade number 28 from Inglot. If anybody asks like what kind of blush I'm wearing, I'm either wearing shade number 28 from Inglot or MAC Cubic Blush, which is right here. They're almost the same. Inglot shade is a little bit brighter, but I love their blushes. They're really pigmented. You do not have to use a lot at all. Kind of like the MAC one, I like do it like that, put it on, do it like that, put it on. When I do Inglot, I like tap it and like, you know, put it, like brush it past my face and it's, I'm done. So my next impulse purchase I made at Inglot were these two eyeliners. Uh, this one is a soft precision eyeliner right here. This is number 24, it is blue. This guy. I bought these like on Impulse at iMats. Here's another one, an AMC one. This is number 103, blue. Because I did a blue lipstick, I like a really bold blue lip at iMats. And I didn't have a lip liner for it, so I just went and bought a blue eyeliner and it worked. So, I have Inglot lipsticks. They have the regular lipstick, matte lipstick, slim gel lipstick, and lip pencil in matte. Um, so everything is $12 except for the pencil, which is 11 and then they also have the Freedom System and lipsticks, which is uh, like these guys right here, and those are $7, so super cheap if you're trying to build a kit or whatever you're trying to do. Very inexpensive. I have a few, actually I have a lot of different Inglot lipsticks. At IMAX, I had like a really dark blue lip because uh, the Degaf by Melt was out of stock. So this is what I wore at IMAX. This is shade 292. And then I packed on a bright blue glitter on top of it, and I used the AMC Eyeliner number 103 for my lip liner with this color, 292. Their lipsticks are definitely very pigmented. They're very high quality. I like them. My only issue is when I go into Inglot, I buy colors that I wouldn't regularly wear like I do when I go into MAC. I buy very like neutral, uh, businesswoman shades, but when I go into Inglot, I buy like lime green or bright blue. But regardless, all the lipsticks I have from them, I love them. I would definitely buy more. Okay, so this one's called the AMC Lip Gloss, and this one is like my alien weird color, uh, effervescent weird luminescent. Like you can see, it's like blue and then it's green and then it's purple. Like I said, if I don't know what I want, I'm gonna buy something weird. I felt like I had to have this. It is really cool if you put it over like a purple lipstick, it gives it like a weird, kind of like a uh, fluorescent glow to it, which is cool. It's not glow in the dark, but it's cool. My favorite Inglot lip gloss that I have is this guy right here. So this is Inglot Sleeks Cream Lip Gloss. There's one that's called like VLC. I have no idea what it stands for, but this is Inglot Sleeks Cream. And this is $10, and this is shade number 97. I love me like when I'm kind of like a tan mommy during the summer. I don't really get that tan, but I like to think I do. I love to pair it with like a baby pink gloss, not like a really intense lipstick. I love this stuff. It kind of reminds me of Dose of Colors lip glosses, but not quite as opaque. So I absolutely love these. I would definitely recommend them. So I hope you guys enjoy this review slash haul slash uh, guide to shopping at Inglot. Uh, make sure to check out my website. I have a lot of my favorites on there. If you have any more questions, you can always email me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.
one number per color or one 